So what we have done so far is we have all these values, which are six or seven values, seven values in the list, and we tried to print on the first first divisible number, first divisible first divisible uh, number by five, so which is twenty here. So so what we have done, we have done apply the filter, which filters filter out all the elements which are not divisible by five. And then the remaining elements which are divisible by five will be mapped to multiply by two, and it will find the first value. Now, if I do the same code with the help of uh, a normal for loop, let's let's try to do it with a normal for loop. We'll say int i colon values, and in this first we need to check if uh, if my value which is if i mod five is equal equal to zero. So if it is over five, then I would first I have to multiply that number by two. We'll say it is i equal to i into two, and then a break, okay? Because we want to stop it, and then we can just print the value of. Huh? I want to print the value. I cannot say value here. I will say int result equal to zero. I cannot say i into two. I can simply say it is result into two. Now if I run this code and if I print here result, let me print result here. And if I print it now, the both both the code should give the same answer which is 40, right? So both are picking the same value. Now if I check the number of iterations this loop is taking and the number of iterations this this thing is taking. So let's start with this. So the first value of i is let's say the i is 12. Let me remove this code since we have done with this. Okay, so the first value of i is 12. Is 12 divisible by 5? No. Second value is 20. Is it divisible by 5? Yes, and, they are, and you will get the break. So only two times this for loop is incrementing. What about this stream? This stream is working with all the values. Then we have removing this, uh, we are taking only five, four values, 20, 35, 55, and 75. And then four values, we are applying a map, and then we are finding the first. If you know 20 is the only element you want, then why we are applying all the operations with, on, on this 35, 55, 75? So this stream here is wasting a time by, uh, by, you, by filtering all the elements, by mapping all the elements, and then finding first. So if you talk about the efficiency, this code looks more efficient, right? But is it? Stream is a new API which was introduced in Java 1.8. So is it less efficient than for loop? Of course not. It's a new API, new features, and it should be more efficient than the for loop. Then question arise, how it actually works. Now if we talk about this method like filter and map, these are called as lazy methods or lazy functions. They go for lazy evaluation. Now what is lazy evaluation is, when you say values.stream, this stream will say, okay, I have done my work, which, which I have converted all the values into stream. Then you say, filter, now it's your work, filter all the elements. Filter will say, okay, done. Then you will ask map, map, filter, uh, map all the elements. Map will say, okay, done. Once you say find first, now this find first here is not a lazy method, it's a, eager method, or you can say it's a terminal method. It will terminate. If you go to the find first, you can see uh, it's, so it's written here. Okay, let me click on more. So this is a terminal operation, which means when you say filter, filter all the elements, he will say done, map will say done, find first will say, okay, if you are done with your work, give me the first value. Map will say, okay, I have not completed my work yet. First, let me map it and then I will give you. Map will ask the value to filter. Filter will say, okay, let me do my work and I, I will give you. That means once when I say filter, it will not filter. It will just say I've, I've done. When I say map, it will not do its task. It will simply say done. It's like, uh, it's like you know, lazy people, when you ask to, to do something, they will say, okay, done. But they have, do they have not done it. When you ask for a result, then at that time they will do. It's something like your assignments. If I give you an assignment for one week, and at the end, uh, in between, if I call you and ask, have you done with the assignment? And the answer you, you will give is, of course, yes, right? I have done with the assignment. 
But if I ask you to send me a pic of that assignment, it will take you five hours or 10 hours to send me the pic. It's not because you are taking the pic for 10 hours, you're writing the assignment at that time. So map is like a lazy, lazy you, okay? But find first is me, I'm asking you the result. So find first is a terminal method. So this two here, they are lazy. Then question is how it exactly works is, find first will ask a map that I, I just want only first value. Then map will say, okay, why I will uh, map all the elements. I will map only the first element. Then we'll ask a filter. Filter will say, okay, map will say, see, I want to give only one element to find first. Don't filter all the elements. Fil find the first element which is divisible by five. It means this filter will take only one value and map will take only one value. So let me run, let me run this. The answer is same. Then how to prove my point? Now to prove my point, I will use some, I will define some methods here, but how exactly I will write those methods that we'll see in the next part.